For the full year of 2021, the cumulative installed base of batteries in China was up 144% on the previous year. That's a 144% increase in the number of batteries manufactured in China in the last 12 months. And that, my friends, is absolutely insane. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the channel. Welcome to all you new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. Big thank you, big shout out to the Patreon supporters of the channel. I had a few new people come on lately. Really appreciate your support. I'll put a link in the description below to our Patreon account if you want to So what's going on in China? Well, two things are going on. The first of those is that for the first time in China's history, LFP batteries are more popular than lithium ternary batteries. What are ternary batteries? They're like NCA, NCM chemistry batteries. Realistically, lithium ternary batteries are used in most legacy manufacturers' battery cars. Whereas in China, most cars there now actually come with lithium iron phosphate batteries. Obviously, obviously lithium iron phosphate batteries have quite a number of different advantages over ternary batteries. Ternary batteries have one key advantage, higher energy density, and they are lighter. Other than that, lithium ion phosphate batteries are better in almost every way. They're cheaper. You can get far more cycles out of them. They last longer. You can charge them to 100% and discharge them all the way to zero. You get less battery degradation, etc. You can see how one is good in one way, one is good in another. But the interesting thing is that in China, the difference between the sales of lithium ternary batteries and lithium ion phosphate batteries, well, at the start of the year, lithium ternary batteries were still quite a bit more popular than lithium ion phosphate batteries, but that has completely changed by the end of the year. And in fact, lithium ion phosphate batteries have extended their lead over lithium ternary batteries. So we can see this enormous change in the trend towards lithium ion phosphate batteries in China. But also, obviously, this can't just be in China. There's not enough electric cars sold in China to completely reflect this change. It's also going into cars like Tesla vehicles that are being sold overseas. So what's happened is that with installations of LFP batteries increasing, continuing to outpace lithium ternary batteries over the past six months. Six months ago was when lithium iron phosphate batteries first surpassed ternary batteries in terms of popularity in China. And they've beat out ternary batteries now for six straight months, but the gap has actually started to widen over the past couple of months. Now, data released today by the China Automotive Battery Innovation Alliance shows that China's LFP battery installed base in December was 15 gigawatt hours higher than the 11.1 gigawatt hours of ternary batteries. This is the sixth consecutive month that LFP batteries have maintained their lead after surpassing ternary batteries for the first time in July of 2021. Now, LFP battery in installations in December increased by 118.5% year on year and were up 30% from November. Ternary battery installations, on the other hand, they rose by 85% year on year, and they were up 19.7% from November. Now, for the full year of 2021, the cumulative installed base of LFP batteries, as reported by cnevpost.com, was 79.8 gigawatt hours, surpassing the 74.3 gigawatt hours of ternary batteries. This gives LFP batteries a 52% share of the total installed base in 2021, and therefore ternary batteries had about a 48% share. Now, in December, China's battery deployment was 26.2 gigawatt hours. That's an increase of 102.4% year on year and up 26% from November. It doesn't sound that great in comparison to the overall increase for the entire year, which was 140%. What's the reason? Well, the battery deployment in December was just ludicrously insane. It was really impressive last year. But this year, it's gotten to just this entirely new level. So for the full year of 2021, the cumulative installed battery deployment in China was 155 gigawatt hours. That's an increase of 144%, like I said before. What does this mean? Well, here is the interesting thing. There are so many people saying, there's not enough batteries. There's not enough batteries to make all cars electric. It just can't happen. It, you're wrong, Viking. By 2030, this is not going to happen because there's not enough batteries. Well... You should just look at these charts. I mean, come on, have a look at the battery deployment last year. 
have a look at it this year. If they just continue on a trajectory that's even like 20% of this current trajectory, then there will be unquestionably enough batteries in the world by 2030. Have a look at the video I've made about all the battery gigafactories being made in the US. US. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. Then have a look at all the battery factories coming online. Have a look at my video I just made about CATL's battery factory that, that basically came online in three months to 60% deployment in three months. That battery factory will have 70 gigawatt hours by the end of next year in terms of its yearly battery deployment. That's just one single factory. You only need probably 30 of those to have enough for all automotive cars being sold in a single calendar year. So the reality is, sorry, yes, we will have enough batteries. Whatever the challenges are, they are currently being worked on and we will find solutions as a global, kind of a global family, I would say. In a sense, this whole industry is really working to work together now to achieve one thing. And of course, this is a butterfly effect. All these different people are doing different things and we kind of think they're all different. But the reality is, everyone now is on board on this new track and that is towards electrifying the automobile. So it will happen by 2030 without any doubt. That's the good news. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.